This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. A really great addition to PowerPoint 2010 is the ability to capture screenshots. It comes with a simple tool that allows you to capture whole windows of windows you already have open or parts of windows if you need a section. So how do we make use of this screen capture? Well, let's use our Italia presentation and create a new slide. So we'll make it a blank slide. The screen capture does not have an option in the content placeholder. So we'd need a blank slide or a slide with very little content to capture the screen. And then we go to insert screenshot. Now in the screenshot dropdown, you can actually pick up whole windows that you already have open. So for example, if I've gone to the internet and opened a web page and I'd like to screenshot that page, I can choose that here, which is the page I have, and then just click. And the whole page is grabbed and dropped onto my slide. Notice how it's even resized to fit the slide. Perfect. Now that's just a picture. Once the picture arrives, you get your picture tools format. And as we've seen earlier, you can then add any number of trendy or crazy effects to that screen capture. So that can save a lot of work in the old days of print screen, print screen, and resizing, etc. I could chop the corners off that. So that's insert, screenshot, and I've just chosen from one of the open windows. Now, if we add a new slide, let's have another blank slide. Choose the same tool, insert, screenshot. I don't actually want one of the full windows. What I want to do is some screen clipping. So I want to actually snatch part of a window. So we click and it drops to the main window behind, which is this document window. And you can see it's sort of grayed out a bit. Well, I can then click and highlight with the mouse. And the area that I'm highlighting is the area that will be grabbed. And when I let go of the mouse, it's grabbed and dropped into the middle of the document. That's now another picture that I can add a trendy effect to. So that's insert, screenshot, screen clipping. Now the screen clipping will head for this window here, which is the first window open in order. If I want to screen clip that window, then I have to be a little bit cleverer and do Alt Tab to that window and then Alt Tab back to PowerPoint. Then when I go into screenshot, that becomes the first window. So when I screen clip, that's the window it wants to screen clip from. And then I can click at the start point drag across till I've got what I want and let go. And then that element of the screen is captured and I can do my trendy formatting. Too much choice, isn't there? Let's do that one with the reflection. So it's any slide you want the screen clipping on, insert, screenshot. Any of the available windows can be grabbed just by clicking it. Any part of the first window here can be grabbed by clicking screen clipping. And then you click and highlight the bit of the screen you want, let go, and that bit appears in your presentation. And that way you can get full screenshots, such as those, or parts of screen, such as those.